John Henry decided it was time for him to go on down the big road. He went home and told his mama and daddy goodbye. His daddy said, You got to have something to make your way in the world with, son. These belong to your granddaddy. And he gave him two 20-pound sledgehammers with four-foot handles made of whalebone. A day or so later, John Henry saw a crew building a road. At least, that's what they were doing until they came on a boulder right smack dab where the road was supposed to go. This was no ordinary boulder. It was as hard as anger, and so big around, it took a half a week for a tall man to walk from one side to the other. John Henry offered to lend him a hand. That's all right. We'll put some dynamite to it. John Henry smiled to himself. Whatever you say. The road crew planted dynamite all around the rock and set it off. Kaboom! Blamity! Blamity! Boom! Boom! Bang! Boom! Bang! That dynamite made so much racket, the Almighty looked over the parapets of heaven and hollered, it's getting too noisy down there. The dynamite kicked up so much dirt and dust it got dark. The moon thought night had caught her napping and she hurried out so fast she almost bumped into the sun who was still climbing the steep hill toward noontime. When all the commotion from the dynamite was over, the road crew was amazed. The boulder was still there. In fact, the dynamite hadn't knocked even a chip off it. The crew didn't know what to do. Then they heard a rumbling noise. They looked around. It was John Henry laughing. He said, <laughs> If you gentlemen would give me a little room, I got some work to do. Don't see how you can do what dynamite couldn't, said the boss of the crew. John Henry chuckled. <laughs> Just watch me. He swung one of his hammers round and round his head. It made such a wind that leaves blew off the trees and birds fell out of the sky. Ring! The hammer hit the boulder. That boulder shivered like you do on a cold winter morning when it looks like the school bus is never going to come. Ring! The boulder shivered like the morning when freedom came to the slaves. John Henry picked up his other hammer. He swung one hammer in a circle over his head. As soon as it hit the rock, ring! The hammer in his left hand started to make a circle. And ring! As soon the ring of one hammer followed the ring of the other one so closely, it sounded like they were falling at the same time. Ring, 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 ring! Chips and dust were flying from the boulder so fast that John Henry vanished from sight. But you could still hear his hammers. Ring, ring. The air seemed to be dancing to the rhythm of his hammers. The boss of the road crew looked up. His mouth dropped open. He pointed into the sky. There in the air above the boulder was a rainbow. John Henry was swinging the hammer so fast he was making a rainbow around his shoulders. It was shining and shimmering in the dust and grit like hope that never dies. John Henry started singing. I got a rainbow ring ring tied round my shoulder ring ring it ain't gonna rain no, it ain't gonna rain. Ring, ring. John Henry sang and he hammered and the air danced and the rainbow shimmered and the earth shook and rolled from the blows of the hammer. Finally, it was quiet. Slowly, the dust cleared. Folks could not believe their eyes. The boulder was gone. In its place was the prettiest and straightest road they had ever seen. 
Not only had John Henry pulverized the boulder into pebbles, he had finished building the road. In the distance where the new road connected to the main one, the road crew saw John Henry waving goodbye. A hammer on each shoulder, the rainbow draped around him like love.